The Shroud of Turin is one of the most enigmatic and debated artifacts in human history. For centuries, it has been revered, studied, and questioned. Many believe it to be the burial cloth of Jesus Christ, bearing his image and evidence of his crucifixion. Others view it as a remarkable medieval creation, whether as a deliberate forgery or an artistic marvel. Regardless of perspective, the shroud transcends its physical existence, bridging the realms of faith, science, and human curiosity. The shroud first entered public awareness in the 14th century, although many believe its origins trace back to the time of Christ. Its earliest recorded appearance was in a small French village called Lirae, where it was displayed by the de Charny family. Pilgrims flocked to see the cloth, believing it to be a relic from Christ's burial. The faint image of a crucified man, visible on the fabric, inspired devotion and awe. Stories of miraculous healings and divine signs further elevated its status as a sacred object. From the outset, however, the shroud's authenticity was contested. Bishop Pierre d'Arcis of Troyes was among its earliest skeptics, accusing the de Charny family of fabricating the relic to attract pilgrims and their donations. In 1389, he wrote to Pope Clement VII, asserting that the shroud was a painted forgery. Despite this accusation, the Pope allowed the cloth to be displayed, provided that no definitive claims of authenticity were made. This compromise set the tone for centuries of debates surrounding the shroud. Over time, the shroud gained prominence within the Catholic Church. In 1578, it was transferred to Turin, Italy, where it has remained ever since. The Church has consistently supported veneration of the Shroud, emphasizing its spiritual significance rather than officially declaring it to be Christ's burial cloth. Successive popes have visited the Shroud, underscoring its importance as a symbol of faith and devotion. The Shroud's unique physical properties have captivated scientists and researchers. It is a linen cloth, approximately 14 feet long and 3.5 feet wide, woven in a herringbone pattern. This weave was common in the ancient Middle East, adding weight to the theory that the shroud could originate from the first century. Traces of cotton fibers have been found in the cloth, further supporting the idea that it was crafted on a loom used in the region. The image on the shroud is what sets it apart as an artifact of extraordinary interest. It depicts a man lying supine, with visible wounds consistent with crucifixion. The image is faint but remarkably detailed showing front and back views of the body. What makes it particularly intriguing is the way it interacts with modern imaging techniques. In 1898, Secondo Pia, an amateur photographer, made a groundbreaking discovery. While taking the first photographic negatives of the shroud, he noticed that the negative image was more detailed and lifelike than the positive image. This finding revealed that the shroud acts as a photographic negative, a feature that remains unexplained. The image's three-dimensional qualities further enhance its mystery. When analyzed using modern imaging technology, the intensity of the image corresponds to the distance between the body and the cloth. This creates a depth map, suggesting that the image was formed in a way that accurately reflects the contours of the body. Scientific investigations into the shroud have sought to determine how the image was formed. Early hypotheses propose that it was painted or dyed, but studies have found no evidence of paint, pigment, or dye on the cloth. Instead, the image appears to result from an oxidation process that discolored the surface fibers of the linen. This process remains unexplained, although some researchers have suggested it could have been caused by a burst of radiant energy, such as ultraviolet light or heat. The shroud also bears bloodstains, aligned with wounds described in biblical accounts of Jesus' crucifixion. These stains have been identified as human blood of the AB type. They contain high levels of bilirubin, a compound produced in the blood during severe trauma. The position and shape of the stains suggest that the man depicted on the shroud suffered injuries consistent with Roman crucifixion practices, including nail wounds in the wrists and feet, a spear wound in the side, and lacerations consistent with scourging. In 1978, the Shroud of Turin Research Project, STIRP, conducted one of the most comprehensive scientific studies of the artifact. Comprising a team of over 30 experts, including chemists, physicists, and forensic pathologists, STIRP aimed to uncover the secrets of the shroud. 
Their findings confirmed that the image was not painted or created using known artistic techniques. They also highlighted the unique physical and chemical properties of the cloth and the image. However, the exact mechanism behind the image's formation remained elusive. A major turning point in the scientific study of the shroud came in 1988, when a small fragment of the cloth was subjected to radiocarbon dating. The test was conducted by three independent laboratories, which concluded that the shroud dated to between 1260 and 1390 CE. This result led many to dismiss the shroud as a medieval forgery. However, the carbon dating has since been challenged on several grounds. Critics argue that the sample used for dating may have come from a repaired section of the cloth, containing newer fibers not representative of the whole. Additionally, centuries of handling, exposure to fire, and environmental contamination could have skewed the results. Recent studies using advanced techniques, such as infrared spectroscopy and Raman analysis, have suggested that the shroud could be much older than the 1988 results indicate. Despite the controversy surrounding its authenticity, the shroud continues to hold immense cultural and spiritual significance. For millions of Christians, it is a tangible connection to the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Pilgrims who view the shroud often describe profound feelings of awe and reverence. The shroud's influence extends beyond religion. It has inspired countless works of art, literature, and popular culture. Artists have drawn from its mysterious image, incorporating its features into depictions of Christ. Writers have used it as a symbol of faith, mystery, and the intersection of the divine and the human. Films and documentaries continue to explore its story, keeping it in the public imagination. As technology advances, new methods of studying the shroud offer the potential for groundbreaking discoveries. Non-invasive imaging techniques, such as X-ray fluorescence and digital modeling, allow researchers to examine the cloth in unprecedented detail without causing damage. Artificial intelligence and machine learning could also play a role in analyzing patterns and data related to the Shroud. The enduring mystery of the Shroud of Turin lies in its ability to provoke questions that transcend disciplines. It challenges the boundaries of science, history, and faith, prompting profound reflections on the nature of evidence and belief. Whether it is the burial cloth of Christ or a remarkable medieval creation, the Shroud of Turin continues to inspire curiosity and devotion. As research progresses, we may one day uncover its secrets. Until then, it stands as a symbol of humanity's quest for truth, bridging the gap between the known and the unknown.